Hallelujah. Praise the Lord family. I am happy to be with you all again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If this is your very first time of seeing me, you are welcome to Prophetic Hour of Upliftment with S. Omega. And I want to say that the Lord God bless you. My returning subscribers, thank you so much. Do not forget to like and subscribe if this is your first time. I want to make this prayer with someone. Hallelujah. That may the light of God's countenance shine over you. May the Lord God bless you. May he keep you. May he preserve you in this season. And may his word over your life, his promises over your life, may he not pass you by. Even this prophetic word today, may he not pass you by in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This word is for someone. God wants you to move. Do not be afraid of uncertainty. You have always had it in mind that you want to move, but you are so uncertain and so afraid and not sure. Hallelujah. And when you keep thinking that way, there is no way that you're going to make progress. Yes, you have been thinking for a long time like that, but God is giving you an assurance now that yes, it is time for you to make that decision because where he is taking you to, that is the place that he wants you to be. Hallelujah. Yeah. You see, this there are certain steps or there are certain decisions that we make in life. And if we are expecting to see what is ahead, then that is we are not making steps of faith. And faith is a currency that is used in this in this kingdom, the kingdom of God. There is no way that you cannot exercise faith over certain things that you make and say, no, you are certain of what is going to happen. You cannot be so certain. You cannot be so sure. Why? Because our everyday entails that we trust the Lord. We trust God with our everything to see that that which he has planned for our life may it manifest in the name of Jesus. So if you have been having uncertainties in your heart, you have been having uncertainty or not being sure of where God is taking you to or where God is bringing you to or where God wants you to be I want you to apply faith that is our currency in the kingdom of God apply faith and 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 be rest assured that the Lord God is going to do it for you and there is no way that God can bring you to a place and you become a failure and there is no way that God can bring you to a place and you become stranded God does not let his own to become stranded hallelujah he makes he will make a way like Jonah even in the belly of a fish he still survives that is who our God is. He will make you survive in places where people are finding it so difficult to survive because you are his beloved in the name of Jesus. Apply faith to it. Hallelujah. And let it work for you in the name of Jesus. God wants you to move just like in the Bible when Ruth took a step of faith to move with her mother-in-law. Not even She did not even care to know what was going to happen, how it was going to turn out. But the Lord God knew that this place was was for her hallelujah and the lord god honored her in this place in the name of jesus the lord god honored her hallelujah so every step that you make apply faith and trust god that whatsoever decision you're making in this season he will see set to make it come to pass in your life in the mighty name of jesus i pray for someone that the lord god helps you gives you the grace the strength the courage you need to be able to embark and make that decision and if you have done so in that place right now you are there asking God what next to do may he send you help us in the mighty name of Jesus you will not be a failure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray amen may the Lord God bless you may the Lord God increase you I want to say that I love you all so very much and you all are special amen <music>